Hi guys and welcome back to Up The Valley. This is episode three of Up The Valley with the mighty Whitworth Valley FC and today we have two games for you. We are at home in the first game against, uh, what does it say here, Old Mancunians is the first game. So all of you Old Mancunians out there like, um, um, who's an Old Mancunian? Ryan Giggs I guess, I hope he's not playing. Um, yeah, Old Mancunians, I don't know. Old Mancunians is the first game, and the second game is an away game against Thornley, or Thornley, I guess. So, yeah, Old Mancunians at home, Thornley away. Let's get into the game. So... So let's catch you up with what's been going on. You can see the schedule here. We have, uh, let's see, we have played four games now in the Lancashire Amateur League. Three wins, all of them uh, three nils, which was a little bit weird. And then uh, last game, we actually had a home game against Preswick and we drew 0-0 or nil-nil, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's not too good, is it? So hopefully we're going to get back to winning ways today and Old Mancunians are the team we're up against. It is another home game, so hopefully you'll see our first home win of the season as the first home win we actually had was um, when I sort of messed up and didn't record anything. So um, yeah, hopefully the first home game that you see as a live stream or as a live video, um, we're going to win today. So let's get into the team selection again. So where are Old Man Cunions? They're currently 13th in the league. Let's just have a quick look at the league actually. Um, so the league looks a little bit like this. We are top with 10 points. Old Mancunians, yeah, struggling a little bit. Second to last. Only got four points from the um, opening four games. One win and one draw there. The only team below them are Failsworth Dynamos. Very apt name for a team in last position. Failsworth. Uh, let's check them out. Hmm. Chris Budge is their youngster up front. Not too bad. Not too good, though, is he, to be fair? All right, so this team, they look quite young. Uh, year founded, 1998, that team, Failsworth Dynamite. Anyway, I'm sure we'll play them very, very soon. So let's get into today's game, team selection. We're going to keep it pretty much the same. Mickey Catamol has taken a bit of a knock. Let's see what's wrong with him. Uh, he's out for... Oh, twisted knee. He's got a little red knee there. So he's out for 14 days, did that say? Oh, one to four days. Oh, that's okay. One to four days. So he's going to come off now. That gives a chance for somebody else to come on. What I might do is bring on... Hmm, do I put another striker on? Probably not. We have got Toby Wright on the bench as a striker. So Mickey Catamol is actually going to come off for... Hmm, who else do I think is going to be decent? Now, what we're going to do, actually, just have a quick look at the reports. And let's see who's got hang on hang on what are we doing here who's got um some high potential and who is not in the team currently so mickey catamol is up is one of the players that's up there callum whitehead is also uh super high potential four and a half star almost five star mickey catamol was there johnny thompson uh danny o'connor as an attacking playmaker he, he might be one i bring in today yeah, let's give Danny O'Connor a run on the bench today. So he's going to come on for the injured... Um, what was his name? Who's the guy that's out? Uh, Mickey Catamol, right? Yeah, so uh, let's look here. Callum Whitehead's on the bench. Thomas Lord's not going to be there. We're going to give it to Danny O'Connor. He's going to have his first Appearance this season. So Danny O'Connor, a 17-year-old Englishman, contractor at Whitworth Valley, £500 worth of player there. So he's a uh, advanced playmaker, can play sort of in that number 10 role behind the striker. Uh, not very well at the moment, unfortunately, but he has got good potential. So we'll give him a little bit of a run out today. Other than that, the team is going to remain pretty much the same. We have, oh, Kieran Kirby. He's a good one, though, isn't he? Mm, Johnny Thompson as well. No, we'll stick, it, we'll stick to what we know at the moment. So we have uh, Fearing in goal, Luaba at left-back, Fenton and Harrison as the 
centre-back pairing. We also have uh, Appiah at right-back. Adipe as the box-to-box -box midfielder. No, not box-to-box. -box. What is he? Ball-winning midfielder. Eggington as the central midfielder. Lamb, Hewitt and Burton. The double Callums, or the two Callums as I like to call them. Um, playing on sort of the wing and attacking midfield there. With Devlin up front as a poacher. I think I might actually go attacking forward for Devlin. Um, the only thing is, if we're only playing one up front, playing a poacher doesn't really seem to make too much sense. Let's see his training and we'll play. Uh, we'll change his training to an attacking forward on attack. So he's going to be trained there rather than a poacher. And we're going to submit the team. So hopefully we get a nice win today. So we're going to get straight into the game. We've already looked at the lineups. They are playing a 4 3 3 to counteract our 4 2 3 1. Uh, we'll go to the dressing room. What should we say? Team talk. Passionately say, I expect nothing but a win. So actually, just before we start, I just wanted to check how many play, uh, how many people we had at the last home game. So we had, what was it? Uh, Little Lever was 26. Presswitch was 25. So we went down one for that game. Uh, let's hope that we get more players, uh, more players, more people at the ground today uh, for the Old Mancunians game. So we've got a 25 is the is the number to beat. Well, 26, sorry, is the number to beat. Callum Hewitt, the lovely ball in to Fenton. Callum Burton picks it up. One of the two Callums. Actually, one of the three Callums, because we also have a Callum on the bench. Callum, um, it's Callum something else, I don't know. Uh, Luaba, Fenton, Odipe. Fenton there, playing it quite nicely around Eggington with a nice ball over there. Callum Burton does pick it up on the left. Crosses the ball to Devlin, who's playing as that attacking forward now. Hits the bar, though. Adipe gets it back. Harrison, and that is a horrendous ball. Straight out for a throw-in. Right, we're going to demand some more, I think. We're going to demand more. Yeah, we have got three Callums, I think. I should probably have called it. A three Callum as Fenton there. Is that Fenton with the header? Matty Fenton scores the first goal of scores his first goal of the season from centre back. Callum Hewitt there, one of the Callums. We love a good Callum. Fenton there with a lovely header. Keeper had no chance. 1-0 up, guys. 1-0 up. Things are going well. Callum Hewitt, let's just check. It wasn't offside. It wasn't Fenton there. Two of them uh could have had that. Um they looked like they were in. Both in great positions, so we are 1-0 up after 15 minutes, what, 15, 20 minutes. Things are going quite well. I'm going to shout, give him a bit of praise. Why not? Praise the team. A win here will keep us top of the league. Obviously, that is where we would like to finish in our first season, top of the league. Callum Hewitt with another lovely ball in. Fenton wins it again, and Devlin just over the bar, almost like a, a scissor kick volley there, but didn't quite pay off. Fenton seems to spend quite a lot of time in the box, doesn't he? Which is weird for a centre-back, but I'm happy with it at the moment. We'll demand a little bit more because we should be... I think we should have... Are they there? Yeah, they're quite far down in the league at the moment. I know we've only played a few games, but we're not dominating this game as much as I'd like goal-wise. I mean, shot-wise, shot -wise we are. Um, Possession-wise, we're absolutely dominating the game. 63% possession there. Um, but I'm going to assertively say... Mm. there's more to come I want to say something like there's more to come calmly say keep it up I guess I'm happy to keep it up calmly yes that'll do that's fine um, I think this is the one isn't it where we can say there's more to come from you because I believe there is I don't think we've really made the most of our chances well we definitely haven't 13 shots on goal only one goal to, to, to show for that and now they have a chance here um, let's hope that we can get another. So Canton there plays a the light ball forward to Bradshaw, who's out on the left. If he can get across in here. No, it's cut out by Callum Hewitt, and now Devlin is free on the right-hand side. He's got nobody in the middle, though. He's going to have to wait for support. He's going to get... Oh, it's a penalty! Chopped down there by Catton, and that was a horrendous, horrendous tackle. Surprised he's even stayed on the pitch there. Uh, Callum Burton, one of the Callums. Bang! Oh, he saved it. Um, what are we doing penalty-wise? Is that the second he's penalty... Is that the second penalty he's missed in two games? I think it might be. Happy. I think we might have to uh, have a sneaky look at our penalty takers. But Devlin gets the second goal. And we are 2-0 up now. Let's have a look, actually, at the... Um, where are our penalty takers? Set piece, pen, penalty takers. Let's have a look. Penalties. So, uh, Callum Burton is on penalties now. Why is he on penalties? Callum Burton, because he's... Oh, composure three. Penalty taking ten. Should it be Danny Jackson? It probably should. However, he's not a starter. Toby Wright, 14. 
I mean, it's, we haven't, we're not blessed with penalty takers, are we? So he is our second best penalty taker on 10. So that, uh, what do we do? Toby Wright's got 14 finishing, but only six for penalties. I think we just keep it how it is and just hope that we, he learns to be a bit better at penalties. I think that's all we can, we can hope for at the moment. Anyway, we are two nil up, so it's not too much to worry about. Uh, uh, Decent throw in there, and Callum Hewitt with a deflection kind of. Uh, Lamb gets the ball into Devlin, and it's a good finish at the near post. So we are doing well. Let's do a bit of praise here again. We are going to get another penalty, and Callum gets another chance. Callum Burton, and he finishes it this time. So one out of three is not too bad, is it? Well, it's pretty bad for penalties, but it's his third goal of the season. Callum Burton there, straight down the middle. Keeper sort of dived, but didn't really do too much about it. Uh, Callum Burton there with a with the third goal for today. And is it going to be another 3-0? Let's go shout. We'll shout a bit of praise. And I think what we do is we're going to... Uh, Callum Whitehead is the other Callum. Should we put all three Callums on at the same time? Where's Callum Whitehead play? Mm, we could do, couldn't we? Callum Whitehead. Uh, Danny O'Connor, I think, is going to come on, actually. For Callum here, where does he play? Callum here, he can play there. That's about it, isn't it? Mm. He's a youngster as well, isn't he? No, he's not. He's twenty-eight. Who's the youngster, Callum? Sixteen-year-old. Here we go, Callum Whitehead. Um, we're going to bring Danny O'Connor on for his first start of the season. Play him in the, in the uh, attacking midfielder role, and we're also going to bring Toby Wright on up front, playing him as an advanced forward too. So he can get a bit of practice in that position. We should have uh, sealed the win with that. 3-0 up with uh, 20 minutes to go. We should be fine. Um, Ross Mallinson also on the bench. Danny Jackson. Callum Whitehead. I think we're all right, though. What we're going to do is probably just make one more sub. We'll bring Callum Whitehead on for Owen Eggington in the centre of midfield. And that's going to see out the game, I think. Unless we can get another. Can we get a 4-0? Uh, that'd be good, wouldn't it, if we can get another goal. Harrison there. Ball over the top, long ball over. Donald, Mid Donald something. Oh, it's a wonder strike there from uh, from their player. But who's that? Chukwu, Chukwu, Chukwu. Anyway, um, it looks like it's going to be another three nil. So old Mancunians are beaten. Matty Fenton with the goal on eleven minutes. Jack Devlin on fifty two, and Callum Burton with his second penalty of the day. Uh, two minutes after the f he missed the first one, he 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 had the bottle to step up and smash in his third of the season for our third of the day. And another three will, another three nil win takes it to four three nils out of five games, which is a little bit odd. But we'll take it. We'll definitely take it. And we're on to the next one, which is Thornley away from home. They're currently sixth as well. So a little bit of a test for us, uh, Thornley away. With, with Valley Hammer, Hammer, Old Mancunians. Uh, we did have 58% possession, 18 shots to two as well. Man of the match, Matty Fenton. What a player. Uh, if anyone hasn't seen this already, Matt and Matty Fenton came from Crew, So he got released by Crew, who were in League 2 last year. Didn't actually play for them, but uh, is now in our team and, and is a solid, solid centre-back. Hopefully he can come with us through the leagues as well. Looks like a decent player, doesn't he? Uh, six foot one. Key attributes for a central defender, I guess, um, would be marking seven, tackling eight. Not very good, is it, to be honest? But determination's good. Jumping reach is quite good as well. Positioning's okay. Teamwork's okay. Natural fitness, 14. Um, for this kind of level, he's a very, very decent player. I'm going to give him a bit of praise as well. Uh, not quite sure about that haircut, though, to be fair. It looks like he's had a bit of a lockdown haircut. There we go. Uh, Whitworth Valley maintain unbeaten record. And uh, that takes it to five matches unbeaten in the league. Right, what I'll do is I'll come back on the day of the Thornley game. They're away. We're away from home at Thornley, so I'll come back just before that game. All right, guys, so we're back at the uh, morning of the game against Thornley, Whitworth Valley um, FC away at Thornley today. So we'll have a quick look at uh, the finances as well. I think we should have a quick look at that before... Uh, before we go into the game, not much to see really. Uh, the overall balance we have now is £1,619. So um, not the biggest of balances. However, it is sort of going up. It's not really going down too much because we're not really paying anybody in our team any money. And we're just getting a little bit of uh, money in. So gate receipts we had this month were £213. Match day income £187. And that is it. Uh, we don't have hardly any outgoings at the moment which is quite nice i guess 
Um, we have, what's this? Uh, Non-football costs £15. So I guess the woman that makes the pies, I guess, probably gets a bit of cash. Um, tax, £41. Travel costs £50. Um, so total income this month has been £400. Expenditure, £106. So we've got a nice little profit there. A profit of £294. So we're going to go into the match preview. We are favourites again. Our form has been really good. Four wins out of the last five games. Top of the league, inconsistent form for Thornley, however. They are down in 10th place at the moment with only five points. So um, we could extend our lead, I guess, today um, if we win. And Chadding Chatterton, is it Chatterton or Chaddington? Chatterton. And if they lose, we could uh, get a bit of a cushion there. It would be quite nice to have a little cushion ahead of us or behind us, I guess. Uh, anyway, we're going to keep the team as it is at the moment. The only player that isn't playing today is Mickey Catamol, who can actually come back in, I think. Mickey Catamol is going to come back in for Danny O'Connor. Catamol, one of the players I really like. I think he's got a bright future ahead of him, especially in our team. Can play on the left side of midfield as a winger. Potential ability is five star or four and a half star, whatever you call it. Four stars and a fifth black star. So it's almost five stars. Anyway, um, we'll look at the first team and we're going to submit the team. We're going to keep that the same. We'll look at the team going into this game. We are away though today. Fearing in goal, Luaba at left back, Fenton and Harrison in the central defensive positions with uh, Appiah on the right-hand side. Adipe playing as the ball-winning midfielder. Eggington as that sort of uh, central midfielder, just a general central midfielder. The two Callums, Callum Burton and Callum Hewitt, playing uh, their part in midfield, sort of an attacking midfield roles for, for Hewitt and Callum Burton on the left side on the wing. Ryan Lamb on the other wing, on the right wing, and Jack Devlin up front. Devlin at the moment, our top scorer, I guess. Is he Is he top goal scorer? Yes, he is. Five goals in five appearances and the best, highest average rating player. Where did he come from? He came from South Shields on a free. Um, was it Stoke? Surprisingly. But, yeah. Queen of the South in there as well. Then he went to North Shields. So he's been to both Shields, North, North Shields and South Shields. Um, but Stoke sort of in between there. Newcastle... Benfield as well in Football League Division 1. 17th in the Northern Football League Division 1. Um, so, anyway, he is 5-5 uh, five five for us. Let's get into the match. You can see the team here. We've already gone through that. Dressing room, we're going to talk. Uh, we're going to talk. We're going to team talk. Uh, now, passionately say I fully expect you to win this game because I do. I think we should be going into every game this season with a willing willy mentality a winning mentality uh from the off we're going to kick off here away from home though this is going to be a bit of a test for us something a little bit different um i guess again not many people in the ground uh i didn't test i didn't check did i where's the um let's see if i can go to hang on what are we doing here Whitworth valley um schedule 23 people oh Less people were turning up for each game at the moment, which is a little bit disappointing. Ooh, 23, just the 23 people turning up for the game uh, we had previously. This is an away game, though. Uh, Callum Burton now in on goal. Can he cut back? He can't. He's still got the ball, though. He's running around the defenders like they're not even there. And Devlin with his sixth goal in his sixth game. Fantastic uh, finish from Jack Devlin. He could be a bit of a legend, old Jackie Devlin, couldn't he? Uh, Callum Burton there, he loses it the first time round, but he's the defender sort of got the ball back, didn't really know what to do with it. Lovely cross there, and Devlin at the near post um, to put us 1-0 up after 25 seconds. So you can't, can't, really, can't really argue with that. Appiah now with a cross in. No, nope. goes short to Eggington. Adipe, Callum Hewitt. Back to Adipe. Um, odd pass there, but yep. Yeah. Whatever. Eggington still got the ball, though. Playing it around nicely. Lovely ball there from Appiah. And he's got forward. Can he get across? He can! And he's hit the bar. We've still got a chance, though. No. Played out and Pew picks it up for them. Um, I'm going to shout. Give him a bit of shout. Give him a bit of um, ooh, praise, I guess. Uh, let's have a look what's going to happen now. Hilton with, with the ball there. But Appiah uh, can bring it out from the fence. He's running all the way forwards. He's got a couple of players in the middle. Checks back to Lamb, who's going to find a cross. Is he? He's going to shoot himself. And it was 
almost. Uh, Callum Hewitt! Fantastic goal from Callum Hewitt there from attacking midfield and his first goal of the season. Assisted by Jack Devlin. Yeah, Lamb had a shot, uh, sort of just drifted wide. I'm not sure if it was a shot or a cross, really. But Devlin plays a nice ball back in and Callum Hewitt with a tidy finish into the corner. Fantastic. Both Callums now really getting into this season, aren't they? Fantastic players for us. Uh, ball over, though, does find... No, it doesn't find Appiah Wharton for Thornley. And can they get back into this game at all? Shields plays it back to Foster over the top to... Oh, no, Appiah's picked it up. Good ball from Appiah. That's a lovely ball through. And Devlin's through on goal again. It's his seventh goal in six appearances. And Jack Devlin does not know how to stop scoring which is great for us. I think he could be looking at, hmm, I don't know, what do we think, guys? The season is quite short, so there's not that many games. I'm going to say 25 goals for Jack Devlin this year. I think that is a milestone he can hit. I think oh, that's what I'm going to go for, 25 goals from, from Jackie Devlin. Anyway, 3-0 up after 10 minutes, which is incredible. Doing really well so far. They are going to have... Um, a chance though to get one back and pew for them Hilton to LaFondra probably not Adam LaFondra and we're going to get him on the break here Lambs through and can he go all the way himself he looks like he's going to shoots good save by the keeper but it looks like we're going to dominate this game and it's Callum Hewitt with the cross in headed away though and we're, we're still working on it I think that's a bit of a foul there by Callum Burton yep not going to see yellow, though, which is good for us. Now, what I'd really like to see is get a fourth goal so that we can actually say that the game's not completely broken and we're only going to win 3-0 every game. Uh, Lamb here. Lovely ball through to Appiah. He shoots, and it's his first goal of the season. Nathaniel Appiah from right back. First goal for the Valley, up the Valley. Well done, son. Adipe, Eggington. Good bowl over. And, and Lamb just lays it off casually to Appiah, who looked fractionally offside there. Shoots straight at the keeper. The keeper has no chance. It's 4-0 up after 19 minutes. And this could be an absolute rout. We're looking at a record win, uh, I think, in this game. Anyway, Thornley are falling apart at the seams, it seems. It seems? It seems, it seems. Old Mancunians also 1-0 up against Rochelle St. Clements. That takes them up again. Um, we do have Rochdale St. Clements, I think, in our next game. Callum Hewitt, the lovely ball in there. Lovely curling ball. And Harrison just over the ball. And it looks like at half time we're going to go in as 4 0 leaders. Jack Devlin with two goals. Callum Hewitt with one. Nathan, no, no, Nathan? Nathaniel Appiah with, with the fourth goal there. We're going into the dressing room, give a little team talk. I think we'll passionately say we're very pleased with how things are going. Let's keep going. Can we make it 5 6, even 7 0? All right, we are on the ball now. Free kick. Callum Hewitt. And then, oh, and it's been bundled in by Harrison from centre back. His first goal ever for the Valley. So Callum Hewitt is probably going to get another assist. And I think he's probably, oh, Eggington might be getting the assist. I think Callum Hewitt's going to have a serious amount of assists this season, isn't he? Um, what is he on at the moment? He's on, what, he's on three assists in five games at the moment. So I think today he's also going to add another two to that. And it's going pretty well for us at the moment. 61 minutes gone. Whitworth Valley in full control, 5-0. And we're going to give a bit of praise. We are also going to bring on, I think we're going to make a couple of changes. We're going to go for, I think we're going to do Eggington for Callum Whitehead. That's a standard one that we do. Ross Mallinson, the captain, is going to come on for, for I think, Harrison. He looks a little bit tired out there. Uh, he's going to come on as a stopper. And we're going to go, are we going to go triple change? I think we'll leave it a little bit. Are we going to get the six, the Depe? He's been fouled, has he? No. I mean, this is horrendous defending by Thornley. But they have got it out this time. And are they going to do anything whatsoever in this game? 5-0 currently. Can we make it six? Callum Hewitt. Mm. Didn't quite get there that time. And Hilton brings it away for Thornley. And they've got, what's that saying, Fran, Francoeur. And it's a, oh, headed just over the bar. Close, very close one there. Thornley looking overwhelmed at the moment, and I don't blame them. We will 
bring on our third substitute. I think we're going to bring on the mighty, the mighty Mickey Catamole to play on the left-hand uh, side there on the wing, Wharton. And we're going to give a little bit, we'll keep the changes as they are. We're going to give it a little bit of praise after this highlight as long as it doesn't go in. Lamb plays a risky ball over and it's a, I mean, it was a great cross from Lamb, but in the wrong in the wrong net. Um, you see here, Lamb is doing a bit of defensive duty from Fitzpatrick, plays a ball in. Lamb there, all he needs to do is just turn around, plays a cross in, really. And Francois, Francoeur, Francois, something like that, uh, heads in and the keeper is not, um, is nowhere near it, to be honest. So it is uh, now 5-1, so we do not keep a clean sheet today. And Thornley get their goal. But... Mickey Catamol is on now. Ross Mallinson also on. Gets tackled, though. And Francois through again. And a good save from the keeper then. Stops his getting his second goal of the game. And um, I mean, it's lucky we scored those goals early on because we're coming under a little bit of pressure. Have they got two players named the same name, that Francois? Or is he just everywhere? Lafondra now from the left-hand side. Ross Mallinson with a nice, solid clearance. Good old Rossi's in there for a solid clearance. Three minutes injury time, and it's all over at Thornley. And it's 5-1, 50% of the possession, so very even in possession. 17 shots to 11, shots on target for us, 10 though today. That's what counted, and it was the finishing that really uh, counted today. Jack Devlin with two, Callum Hewitt with one, Nathan, Nathaniel, not Nathan, Nathaniel Appiah with one, and Kieran Harrison getting the goal in the second half, two to make it 5-1. Well done, lads. That is another win. Let's have a quick look at the league table before we go. Yeah, you can see there that in a week's time, uh, we do have another home game against Rochdale St. Clements, which will be coming up uh, on the channel. I think what we're going to do just for the first season, we're going to do every single game in this league for the first season. <laughs> So before we go today, we'll have a quick look at the next uh, fixtures that we have coming up. Fantastic start for us. We have, uh, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Five wins in six of our first games. We have Rochdale St. Clemens coming up. Also, Failsworth Dynamos away. So a home game against Rochdale uh, St. Clemens. A away game against Failsworth Dynamos. Mostonians after that. And Chattertonians, which is the big game for us. They're currently second, I believe, in the league um, coming up pretty soon. So we have, what, 28 games this season? Depending on how far ahead we are in the league or how we're doing, I'm actually going to come back. We're going to do the Rochdale game and the Failsworth Dynamos game in the next um, in the next video. And then depending on how well we are doing after that, like if we're like sort of 8, 9, 10 points clear, off, uh, sort of halfway through the season I might rush through the season and then we can start the next season which if we get promoted is let's have a quick look at the um, overview I think we go to rules don't we so if we get promoted the top team only get promoted into Cheshire League Division 1 okay so Cheshire League Division 1 at the moment has so what happens in that league then so we have Denton Town currently top of that league. Um, Cheetah Reserves, Malpass, Moore United. Um, okay, so let's look at what happens in that. Also, in, in the Cheshire League Division 1, uh, we then get top two teams. And I'm guessing that at the moment, Cheetah Reserves cannot get promoted because they're a reserve team, right? So Malpass um, can go up. And also Denton Town at the moment in pole position in that uh, in that league. So five star Whitworth Valley triumph. Classy Devlin on form for Whitworth Valley. Devlin now with seven goals in his first, um, what, six games? Yeah, first six games he's got seven goals. Six matches in a row without losing. Fantastic scenes are happening at the Rawston ground this season. So we're going to leave it there for today. We're going to come back for the home game against Rochdale St. Clements. And then uh, that's going to be in the next video, probably out on, what does it say, Tuesday. So probably out on Thursday, I'd imagine. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed watching this uh, series so far. If you have, please leave a like on that like button, I guess, uh, or whatever they say. I don't know. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel also if you're new. I don't only have Football Manager content. I do also do some other videos and stuff, a little uh, bit of... Um, 
podcasting, a little bit of uh, sort of just random videos about different things. So if you would like to see some of that, please do go and check out those videos. That'd be great. Uh, don't forget to um, subscribe to the channel. Yeah, like I said, if you're new and I will see you next time for another game. Up the valley, guys. Up the valley. Let's see you in the next video. Bye-bye.